what is a perfectly productive day in the life of Todd Howard look like? So uh, maybe not perfectly, but just like a perfectly average productive day. <laughs> uh, what, what, are you a morning person, evening person? Is it chaos? Is it pretty regular? Uh, I'm in a good, I'm in a good flow right now. I'm still doing a lot of stuff. So there's things I'm like executive producing and then, you know, Starfield I'm directing. So I sort of view that as that's an everyday thing. Um, fortunately I get to do a lot of stuff from look at the TV show we're making and, um, this Indiana Jones game that's being developed at machine games. So we get to look at that. Um, but you know, the best really day or where I feel it's fulfilling is um, get to play some of a game, the game, we'll say Starfield, get to play some of Starfield, look at w the problem set of what it is doing, and then get in a room with the other developers that I work closely with, and we solve that problem together. So that's the most rewarding thing when you can say, okay, what do we want this to do? What's the, what's the real player experience we want? What are all the pieces in front of us? Where you you know the actual tangible pieces as opposed to like, the beginning, the pie in the sky part mm -hmm. is always fun, but it's like anything is possible. That's fun, but it's not rewarding in the same way because you haven't solved something. Whereas these are the elements you have to play with. Mm -hmm. How do we make this all work together? And you come out of it at the end of the day like now that feels great. So brainstorming about spe specific big picture, both big picture and, and very sp specific detail of a game that's not working, something's not working, you want to fix it, that kind of stuff. Because you, just... you feel like, okay, you've made tangible progress on the actual build of the game. Mm -hmm. Where something you played in the beginning of the day didn't feel great, you've figured out a solution with a group of people. Like it's always with a group. And then the next day you're like, yeah, that was, that worked out. Who's on the team? Is it designers, engineers, all the above, artists, voice over? So, in, in, internal to the studio, it's you know a lot of programming, a lot of art. You have design, which breaks into some you know quest design, writing, systems design, who are like doing all the treasure and the loot and the and the skill systems. Yeah, and then level design is making the spaces like those that you'll play through. Um, production is a big part of it. The producers who organize everything. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned art, a lot of artists. Um, QA staff as well. They're hugely valuable in saying, hey, we broke your game in these magical ways. What are you going to do about it? Is the loot design team still hiring? How do I apply? <laughs> that seems like the most Always. fun job. <laughs> Always. I mean, that, at all of this seems like a super fun it is, job. You know what? So. It's the best. Then you have audio. Um, and it, it, it by far is, is the greatest job you could possibly have. And so if you're into like, Technology, it's great. If you're into storytelling, creativity, and art, it's great. And it's really the gaming, you know, the combination of that. And like like I mentioned to you offline, I think of video games as, I mean, to me, it's brought thousands of hours of happiness. And so when you're designing the game, whatever you're doing, you have a part to play in a thing that's going to bring like millions, hundreds of millions of hours of happiness to people. And it's you know, crazy, it, right? It is, and I'm gonna I'm gonna play play you saying that back to our team because you know people forget your heads down, you're trying to solve these problems, and then you do forget how many people it touches. Like even tiny decisions you make, yeah. tiny little things you create. Yeah, it's weird. I wish there was a way to like. Um, I would notice things in a video game, and it's like, huh, okay, like the, 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 if it feels good, but you don't get that signal. It, the the creator doesn't get that signal. I wish they did. Um, I guess you could get that signal by, you know, why is Lex stuck in this room, like <laughs> digging through the loot? We this... do get, we do now get a lot of good data on what the players are doing. Enjoying and not that kind well, of Well, we, we know where they've been and where they've died and how long they play in certain sections. And we can sort of tell outside of people just telling us on forums or calling or other things. Mm -hmm. um, we can tell for some data where, People are dropping off or having a, you know, we can tell if there's a key frustration point. Do you ever think about making people feel like human feelings when they play? Like designing, 
like make them feel fear or Work. excitement, anger, uh, longing, loneliness with Starfield. All the above. Yeah, of course. The big one I like to say is the video games give you is pride hmm. outside of other, you know, if you watch movies or things like that, like, yeah, but you never think like, look what I did. Yes, and so. that feeling of like accomplishment and pride in what you did or you overcame, you talked about going back to a game that like, those are real feelings of like accomplishment that I've felt in games uh, that I've played. And when we get to see a player feel that, um, it's really, really special. The other one is there is a, you know, there is an escape or to be someone else that's more powerful in what in our games that you aren't in real life that gives you a confidence or a perspective. Um, we're doing one next week, but we've done a number of make-a-wish visits, kids who could wish for anything, and they want to come and I want to see the next game and meet the creators and see how you do it. And they come with their family. Um, and it is like the greatest thing that we do. Mm -hmm. And it reminds you of like how important it is. And the other really awesome thing is that you can see like the family change by the end of the day. Like they don't, they didn't even realize what it meant to their child or what went into it. And it's just, that to me is like been been involved with that foundation for a number of years and it's been really good you know reminder of how lucky we are and in general for young people that sense of accomplishment is hard to find i mean yeah where they they don't not everybody has it in the outlets that real life provides well th that's the thing i mean the world is cruel to when you're young Nobody takes you seriously. You don't get like, that's why you, everybody always wants to grow up and get old as quickly as possible. It's the hardest, th <laughs> it's hard. And then video games allow you, I mean, to build that sense of confidence, a uh, sense of pride in something. That's why when people talk uh, down to video games, like it's a culture and so on, I, it's, it's not, it misses out on that really deeply meaningful thing. Agreed. Especially with like, single player there's some darker aspects to multiplayer that people create communities and you know it can it can go off the rails a bit but the actual experience of the game um especially one where you stick with for a while that's that's really beautiful